The Buffalo cannabis movement wants the city of Buffalo to decriminalize the possession of two ounces or less of marijuana. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. Now this idea will be presented to a Common Council committee tomorrow afternoon. Doing your science, Kelly Dudzik spoke with one of the men behind the Buffalo Cannabis Act, as well as a Buffalo Common Council member who sits on that committee. We want the city to, uh, within the city limits, to tell the Buffalo police that, you know, people shouldn't be arrested if they are in possession of less than two ounces. Anthony Bainey is with the Buffalo Cannabis Movement. Tuesday, he's presenting an initiative to Buffalo's legislation committee called the Buffalo Cannabis Act. The group's idea is to make it legal to grow up to six cannabis plants in your home and carry up to two ounces of marijuana on you. Bainey argues that current laws unfairly target minorities who end up in jail for possessing small amounts of the drug. Well, they shouldn't be arrested for that and be put in jail when we need uh, jail space for other criminals that are you know, committing real offenses. In 2014, New York City decriminalized small amounts of marijuana, making it so possessing 25 grams or less of pot would not get you arrested. You'd instead get an appearance ticket. Buffalo Common Council member David Franzak is on the legislation committee. Do you think that it's realistic that this whole thing could pass or that any parts of it could? No, I don't, not at this point in time. Because there's no, what has to happen is that a council member would have to file a resolution which incorporates some of these ideas. Franzek does agree that it would be a good idea to look at the fairness of the criminal justice system, especially when it comes to whether having a small amount of marijuana on you should land you in jail. A 19 year old kid who's pinched for a small amount of marijuana and then is, he's tarred for the rest of his life and he's generally a good kid. Uh, you know, I don't think we should uh, crucify people like that. I think there should be some justice and some common sense as far as that goes. So if this fails to get out of committee, will you keep trying? Yes, we will always keep trying as long as we see that more than 400 people within the city of Buffalo are being arrested and that more than 75% of them are minorities. I will keep fighting to make sure uh, that we have some kind of reform of the laws or that there is some kind of informal conversation within the government. The hearing is at City Hall at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and anyone can show up to give their input. In the Information Center, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Kelly. And we'd like to know how you feel about the proposal the Common Council will see tomorrow. Go to our WGRZ Twitter page to vote and see the results.